Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. I think it's time to go to bed. Ready to call it a day? You'll re need to rest if you want to be prepared for your new school life. Yep, let's go. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life in N Naranja Academy. No, 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 did I say that right? No, no, no. The last day arrives for you. Ah, oh, it's gone already. The text, that is. <laughs> last day of something. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard, where I will explain in more detail. It's time! I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Such high energy, just, just right off the bat, wow. I just got up, calm down. Looks like I gotta make some breakfast or something, right? Please? It's your own personal kitchen. Wow, that's crazy. Let me get my... At least through the bathroom. Make sure to keep it nice and clean. Well, I guess I can't go in there. Okay, I'm ready to go. We gotta go to the schoolyard. Director's orders. Can't believe this right now. Oh, I have to actually... <laughs> I thought he was just doing an animation, but no, I actually have to go. Okay. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn up your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Palia's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture, discover the Pokemon that live here, and get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together, learn new things together, Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young, tr young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward! Such good music. I thought I had more time to study, though. Can I go back and study? Toma, yeah! It's time for the Great Outdoors. Come on, Silazar. We're riding out. Take care, everyone, and remember, the great creator of Paldia is extremely dangerous. Crater. Crater. Cr not creator. Crater. It's close enough. Entering it is a violation of school rules. What are you waiting for, Jeremy? Let's go. So, uh... Can I not go back or something? Hmm, do you think everyone heard my warning? With the students so full of vim and vigor, I, I find it hard not to worry. Looks like I can go back. But we still have this epic music going the whole time, so that's cool. Also, I like the loading screen as well, with the compass. Let's actually uh, try and get some classes done, because that's probably a good idea. 
Guess I can look at math. Like, uh, math with missed time. Yep. Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. Just because I want to make sure I have all the extra information that I might need. Hopefully. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. My name's Time, and I'll be your math teacher. Sorry to put you all on the spot at the start of a class, but let me ask you a quick question. Do you enjoy uh, numbers? Arith arithmetic and the like. Yeah, sort of. Uh. Oh my, haha. <laughs> Thank you for your honest responses. Some of you may, may like numbers, and some may not. I think that makes a wonderful mix. But no matter your opinion on math, I hope you find yourselves enjoying our lessons together. I'll do my best to find a good way to match up your interests with all types of math lessons. Speaking of which, are you all caught up on your on your studies of Pokemon type, type match, matchups? For example, grass is strongest against water, and water is strongest against fire, correct? Jeremy, you seem to be good with Pokemon, so let me ask you this. Bearing in mind that water is strong against fire, if the move Water Gun ha hits a Fire-type Pokemon, what becomes of its mo move moves damage? It's doubled? That's right, I knew it. I could count on you for this question, Jeremy. Using moves of a type that, you, uh, that your opponent is weak to is super effect a super effective tactic. It multiplies the damage of those moves by two. On the other hand, using moves that of a type that your opponent is resistant to isn't very effective. It divides the damage of your moves by two. Haha, <laughs> I don't mean to encroach on Miss Dendera's uh, battle studies territory, of course, but I thought it best to use a lively topic as an example. That can make a math fun for, uh, for fun. Even for those of you who don't uh, much like the subject, don't you think? Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. I'm looking forward to seeing you all uh, in the next class. I hope you're looking forward to it too. So not a crazy lesson there, but still good to have. Uh, Battle Studies 1 with Miss Dendra. I feel like the music is a bit too exciting and loud for the lessons. Osu, say hello to your battle instructor. instructor. The one, the only, the hot-blooded Dendra. Osu is a king, uh, is a karate thing. By the way, look it up. My age, 25. My hobby, working out. My type, well... Strong and muscular fighting types, of course. That's all for, for my introduction. As for my class, this is where you all get to learn the nitty-gritty of Pokemon battling. We'll start with the basics, so that no trainer gets left in the dust, even if you're new to this stuff. Have no fear. Leave it to me and my muscles, and you'll be pros in no time. Let's set out our fighting spirits ablaze, together. Pokemon have all kinds of attacks, moves, attack moves at their disposal, and each move has certain qualities that you want to remember. I'm talking about the power, type, and category of these moves. High power means more damage, especially if your opponent is weak to that move's type. Heads up, new kid, question coming your way. There are two categories that attack moves can fall under. Know what they are? Uh, moves of light, light and moves of darkness. Uh, physic move, moves you love and moves you hate. Physical moves and special moves. Awesome, you're just as sharp as I expected, new kid. Looks like you have have a handle on the basics. Anyway, attack moves are split into two categories, physical and special. Physical moves do more damage the higher that Pokemon's attack stat is. 
and special moves do more damage the higher the Pokemon's special attack is. On the other side of things, Pokemon's getting hit by these moves can take less damage by having high defense or special defense, respectively. In conclusion, Pokemon that are good with physical moves should raise their attack stat, and Pokemon that are good with special moves should raise their special attack stat. Trying to raise both of these stats equally will just make it hard for the Pokemon to shine in battle. Make your strong points together. I always say, that goes for both people and Pokemon. Oh man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive the point home, but I guess we're, we're out of time. We'll generally meet for my class here in the schoolyard, even for book learning. Nothing like a little fresh air to make studying more fun, am I right? But class is over for now. Take care, you little rascals. I wonder how many lessons there are, because I'd like to get through them all, hopefully, maybe. But, uh, there's a, that's a lot, probably. Maybe? Or maybe it's just two, three? I don't know. I'm worried. I wish it told me how many there were. You'd like biology with Mr. Jack? Yep. Do another one. See how it looks like in level two. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. Did you all try using the ZR button to let your Pokemon out as I taught you in our last class? Walking along with your Pokemon lets you see how unique and cute they are all are. I'd also hi uh, highly recommend picnics for when you want to spend some quality time together with the Pokemon in your party. You can get them all around the table to make sandwiches and play. It's really a lot of fun. If you want to learn more about making food, Mr. Cigarro, Sag Mr. Cigarro's class is the best place to go. Now, sometimes while you're enjoying a picnic with your Pokemon, you may find something very, very important in the basket next to your table. This very important thing, uh, important something, is what Pokemon are born from. Let's all say it together. Boxes? Pokeballs? Eggs. It's eggs. Phew, you got it all, got it right. The very important thing, or something I'm talking about, is a Pokemon egg. It's not clear where these eggs come from, but they're probably placed in the basket rather stealthily by the Pokemon at, at the picnic. Walking around with an egg will help it war help warm it, which allows it to hatch. Eggs won't warm up by sitting in boxes, though. You need to have them in your party. And here's one more super important thing I'd like you to remember about eggs. Pokemon entrust us with their eggs because they believe in us. So I, sh I sure hope would be happy to see you all being responsible parents for your little Pokemon eggs. Whoops, my most important point came right as the bell rang. We'll see you ne all next time, I guess. So I guess there's a third one then. But I'll come back to that, I think. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave and go somewhere else. Figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Have to say goodbye to this epic music. Ah, uh, so where are we going? <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I'm going somewhere. What are the things right now? Well, those are just those. So I don't need to worry about that. Uh, I really don't know. Also, we have the picnic option now. If we wanted to do that. Maybe I should go to... Or maybe I could just go anywhere. Maybe the game's not actually going to tell me where. No, it's going to tell me where. Okay, I can't move. Jeremy! Jeremy! The treasure hunt! It's finally starting! What are we supposed to do? Yeah, fair question. Since it's your first time, come on, let's walk and talk.
The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Naranja Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some hi actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're more just making our, our own adventures to see what experiences Paldia's got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms. You could help out people in need. You could hunt for real, real capital T treasure. If you wanted, even. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is ob obviously perfect for me. You and me, for sure, gotta battle if we we gotta if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? You could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That get you on your way e easy. Tch. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. Uh, our oven. Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest he check out the gyms. It's up to Jeremy whether he goes. Jeremy's gonna have his hands full searching out ti Titan Pokemon for me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the lairs of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mysteria Mystica. And Sirio? Don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to Jeremy whether he goes, right? Grr. Hmm? Jeremy, your phone's ringing. Good thing I don't have to use my hands to check the phone. Hey, Jeremy. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the square squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up, that the bosses from each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews, and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you are, you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the bases locations to your phone for you. For you. So we have three main quests right now. <laughs> the team star bases have been added to your map. There's a fire one, a poison one, a fighting one, a fairy one, and a dark one. It's very cool. Starfall Street. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait a second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star? Those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Jeremy's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients for with me. I thought it was up to Jeremy to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said? Nimona? And Arvin? How did you know my... I'm not... Lo I'm looking for forward to seeing what you can pull off, Jeremy. Bye. They're watching us. What was that all about? Jeremy, I'm glad you're... You're making plenty of friends here. But try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. That's really cool. <laughs> 
Oh, and I know you, we've been running out, uh, running our mouths, but it's your call what you do, Jeremy. Go where you want and do what it is you really want to want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's got to be Ma. Uh, my big dream of tracking down the Herba, Herba Mysteri Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've ever had in your life. Ah, where'd you come- wh why'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? Haha. <laughs> well, you're not getting one. It seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Jeremy? Press the plus button to jump onto Coridon. You'll find you can get around more quickly. When you're on Coridon's back, you can press the B button to have it jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in your path. Press the plus button again to get off Coridon and walk. Whoa, it transformed! Now it really looks like, uh, some kind of weird, uh, psych- psych- psych are. Long as you've got Coridon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldius, your cloister. Hmph. Yeah, maybe? Well, if you're going to, uh, to search f for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. But since Jeremy's actually had to take on some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. You can't call me that. I'll head to a gym. See you around, Jeremy. The treasure hunt has finally begun. This special event is held by the Academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go, as you search for a treasure all on your, all your own. So there we go, and now we can move around faster, I believe. Which is nice. And we can jump. So we can go anywhere. There are mass outbreaks occurring. That's probably a good, good thing, probably, maybe. But we can go anywhere now, and it's great. I just don't know which way to go. Uh, I think I'll go west to start off, probably. But I'm probably going to change my mind somewhere along the way and just go in both directions. Somehow. Uh, how am I supposed to get through here? This is a dead end, isn't it? Yes, but there is also a item here. Stop. Can I pick that up? Yes, I can. Rare candy. Nice. Now we go to the west. It'll be nice to actually go catching Pokemon again. Hey, it's me, Nimona. We should call and catch up, catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decided to set he out heading west from the school, right, Jeremy? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Cortondo. That's where you'll find the bug type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat her, Jeremy. Good luck. I'll call you soon. There's nothing out of the sides here, is there? Because if I was going to hide something... Yeah, there we go. Substitute. Anything else on the other side? Yes. XP candy. Was that something on a roof? No, it's just a pillar. I'm fine. I'm just walking sideways. It's more impressive than a moonwalk. So let's see what we can find. Fight some new Pokemon. This is very different all of a sudden, and it's great. Probably just worth checking the sides again. Just reusing camera. But man, is it nice to be out and about again, finally. 
get to just do whatever I want. Don't have to do all the talking anymore. Uh, I should also probably catch some Pokemon as well. Instead of just having my Pokemon fight them. I need to catch some Pokemon as well. So let's catch a Mareep. Let's see, what to start off with? Probably doesn't matter, let's just go Ember. There are more Pokemon in the wild. Attack fell. It's okay. That was close. But we're still good. I can also see something glowing in the background. Might be worth checking that out. And I think now that we've done... Well, we've... Up, how, now we've got to where we're up to, I think time will pass possibly now. Possibly, because it's changing now, I think. But I think it wasn't going to change before. Electric Pokemon, number 101. So many Pokemon. So many Pokemon, and it's great. Oh, we've actually had more after that. We have, there's hundreds of Pokemon. So what are you just doing out here with a table and chairs? Are you having a picnic? I assume that's what it is. Oh, there's an Eevee. Cool. Can't take your evil Eevee, though. My poor bag's full to bursting with ingredients. Here, let me share some with you. And this is why you talk to NPCs, which is why I was talking to so many people before. Put the ingredients in the picnic bag. Stuff. Sandwiches are best when you eat them outside. Try making some with the stuff I gave you. Hey, since we're here, want to have a picnic so you can rest up a little? Okay. I'm assuming this is just like a free Poke Center checkup kind of thing. You and your Pokemon look uh, like you're at full full of energy. Come by, come again anytime. That's actually a cool way to just he heal out in the wild. So, gonna send out Pokemon while I explore. Gonna run around faster just because it's gonna be better for me. We can also jump up cliffs, maybe. Maybe? Not quite. Oh well. Can also growl at the enemies, or the Pokemon, so I don't know if that's actually doing something. Found an Aether. There's a thing up there, but I'm gonna have to probably go around for it. Nice level up. There's so many things. I should probably check out the thing that I was gonna check out. Which is glowing in the background, so... Hang on, what's that? Is that... I think that's a new Pokemon. Yeah. So let's get this thing, then. Smoliv. That's a good name for it. It's Small Olive. I mean, I don't know any other types of olives. So... Probably gonna use Ember, maybe? Oh, that's gonna be too strong, isn't it? Yep. It's super effective. Even though it didn't say it was super effective, it was super effective. Oh well, we'll find another one right there, so. And also a Pokemon Center, so. We can do all the things. No, that's a different- that's not the same Pokemon, it's fine. I could just escape from this battle, but I'm just gonna use Ember because it's super effective. And any Pokemon that I miss, I can come back for later as well, because I'll have them marked on my map. No, that's not the case, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, the point is I'll try and get them at some point, if I can. I think I skipped a trainer along the way? No, I didn't. Maybe I did? I don't know. Oh, another battle. Gonna probably get into a lot of battles from this point on. Just gonna use Tackle. We're getting pretty high leveled now, so... Compared to the wild Pokemon. But that was always the case, so... Fletching use Growl. Quick attack, of course. But, not, not good enough, so... 
There we go. Just gonna grab that. Pokeball. Why are there two glowing spots? Gonna grab any items I see along the way as well. We're heading in this direction. Please grab. Neither. What is going on? Are those Pokemon? Or are those machine type things? I survive. Oh, it's just a glowing crystal. Max Ether will completely restore the PP for uh, one Pokemon, I think, probably. I didn't see. Uh, where would I see? <laughs> All the way down here, probably. Yeah, Max Ether is for one Pokemon move. Okay. Oh, so what is this? Can I grab? Crystals! All around Paldia, you may stop gleaming crystals, emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take a, uh, on a terror raid battle and try to defeat powerful terror Pokemon. Okay. Terror raid battles. In terror raid battles, you'll work together with other trainers to, pa to battle powerful terror Pokemon. You can battle alongside f uh, you can battle alongside faraway friends while you're in online mode or nearby friends while you're in offline mode. These t these battles will pit you against Terra Pokemon with rare Terra types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat the Terra Pokemon, you'll have a chance to catch it and also get special items. I can challenge alone, I guess. I should probably switch to online mode at some point. Now you've got a full party to raid with. Okay. I don't know how well this is going to go because I'm not prepared for anything. But I mean, this is the first area, so it can't be that bad. If it was going to be bad, then they shouldn't have giant beams of light showing you where they are. <laughs> Just saying, this early on is interesting. Oh, well, that's pretty fine. I have teammates to help me. It's a Wiglet. In a terror raid battle, you'll try to defeat a terror Pokemon within a time limit. If your Pokemon is knocked out, it will be revived after a while. But you'll also take take a time penalty, so try to avoid letting your Pokemon faint if you can. You can also perform a special action in Terra Raid battles, cheering by cheering for your uh, for your side. You can also you can do things like boosting the stats of the Pokemon on your side or helping them recover their health. You can perform cheers three times per battle. Electric type Wiglet. So that's. Interesting. Uh, I could switch to a ground type, possibly. Also, we can switch. We can. Uh, we can hurt our friend. Friend. Friends. So it's probably not a great plan, but we can do it. I should probably switch to. What's it called? Oh, I can't change. <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna keep biting it. I'm not sure if these are real people I'm fighting with, or if these are AI. We've got Speed Rose. Uh, let me try Ember, because if I can burn it, that would also be good. Oh, a few Cocos. Weakened. Oh, burned. It's not enough, though. Also, I think I have enough time, so it's probably fine. Let's just go for it. Even if your Coco goes down, we should be fine. Nice. The Wild Wiglet fainted. That's cool. Let's catch. Ah, uh, Pokeball, I guess. Whoa. That's a crystal Pokeball. That's really cool. Very nice. Wiglet was caught. Well, there we go. I guess that's what that is then. Probably gonna have come into contact with lots more of those. Wiggler Water Type. 
Wiggle it was sent to the boxes. Also, is this thing gonna stay here? No, it's gone now. Okay. That makes sense. Anyway, I think that's probably it for now. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.